What's up everybody? This is uh, Fabrication 101 here. Uh, we are on our way to back to the garage to work on a current project. My two dogs are running around like crazy like they normally do. Uh, so right now uh, I'm working on my 1968 Bronco. I'm working on the uh, floor and transmission tunnel right now. The It's all aluminum covering up some ugliness from the original owner. Uh, so here's my Bronco. This is my 68 Ford Bronco. Um, about all that's left that's a, that I haven't modified in this thing right now is the windshield, uh, which is folded down and covered up by an old blanket. Please excuse the big mess in here. I'm, I get a little crazy when I'm working on a project. So uh, as you can see, here's the uh, transmission tunnel. I just finished that all up um, just yesterday afternoon. It's still Clicoed in, and it'll probably be Clicoed in for a while uh, until I finish everything else up. Eventually, it will get held in with um, nut certs, threaded nut certs, quarter 20s. Uh, should bolt everything down nice and tight. Working on our, our center console here. Uh, we've got a shifter that mounts on top of this. That's why that's nice and solid. Um, not going to be real big. Uh, come back a little bit, maybe have a little um, cubby box there. Cubby box. Little uh, storage box. I got some ideas in there. Maybe a couple switches on top, a couple cup holders. Uh, but nothing too extravagant in there. Um, all of this uh, aluminum that's in here right now, that stuff in the back that's not bolted down yet, uh, is all recycled. All that material came out of the truck that um, I got the engine for my Bronco out of, uh, which, uh, in case you're curious about, is a Cummins 4BT. Um, so the first step we got to get to to making this um, center console uh, is we got to figure out our length. Um, cut out some cardboard, uh, come up with a, a template or a pattern, uh, see if we can come up with something that works before we start cutting up some material. So first things first, find some cardboard. All right, so we got a simple, that one's pretty simple, that piece of cardboard there. Uh, it's just 24 inches uh, long by about seven and a quarter wide. It looks like I might want to go a little bit wider here and on the other side, so we'll look at that a little bit later. Uh, next thing we have to do is figure out a, our sides. Uh, I do want to have it come forward here a little bit more. Uh, I don't think I can come super far forward because the transmission or transfer case shifter is going here. Uh, when they're leaned back, it almost touches this. So I can't go too crazy. I was thinking maybe I could put a cup holder out here. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen that way. I think this is going to work. And it looks like I checked it on the other side a minute ago. It looks like it's going to work on the other side. It looks pretty good. I like that design. I think that's gonna look really good, uh, made out of aluminum. It will have to get adjusted just a little bit. I want it to just clear, uh, and then it'll bolt it in, in those four spots. So once we get this uh, laid out on here, it looks like it's just barely gonna be enough. Uh, we'll get to cutting with the plasma cutter. <laughs> careful of when you're hammering is that you don't put dents in this side uh, and change the shape too much. Uh, there's a couple other, there's a couple options that you could do here. Um, one would be to do a series of 
relief cuts in the bend uh, and then make the bend and maybe weld those up later. Uh, this is a center console. It's gonna, I want it to be pretty nice, even though you can see this is kind of dirty material. Um, it is a rock crawler after all. Um, there is, I don't really want to do that. Um, there are a couple other options. I have a, a friend, I can go borrow a brake. Well, I'll not borrow and bring it here, but uh, run over to his place, um, make the two bends that I need to do, because they're really just these two in this piece. Um, I, I know I need to bend them at 75 degrees. I use my little handy dandy little angle finder guy here. Um, so that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, so we'll have to pick this up uh, after I get those bent. Uh, All right, so I got it bent. Um, it took me two trips uh, to the bender. You can see it's not quite perfect. Part of that's because, not to just make, not to make excuses, but uh, the bender I was using is actually, was, was homemade. Um, it's not perfect, but it works pretty good. Um, you can see, if I look from the back, um, they stick out a little bit on each side. I did try to make it a little wider, uh, but you can see it lines up pretty good with the dash uh, and the, the lower tube in the front, so it looks pretty level. And that, some of that will get cleaned up uh, as, it, as I make the back, back and front pieces. Um, so now it's on to more cardboard work. All right, so I have my template looks pretty rough just because I wanted to get it fit around the tubes that are in the, the body. Um, it does fit. It fits pretty good. Um, you, the templates need to be pretty close to what you want. You, you will have some wiggle room, wiggle room uh, to make them fit. So from that, I got my piece cut out and all cleaned up, um, ready to be tacked in. Uh, one important thing, um, when you're, when you're welding aluminum, it needs to be really clean. Uh, and when you use a plasma cutter, it's going to leave a, an oxide layer that's, it's, it, you can weld through it, but it's going to leave some contamination in your weld. If you want nice clean welds, you need to take the time to clean that off. Um, also any Sharpie marks, uh, where you laid things out are going to get in the way of your welds. Uh, I am not welding down here. This is just going to be a, a, a edge just to close up some stuff. All my other marks are cleaned off, uh, ready to get tacked into place. Um, we use my little prime TIG um, that I just bought recently, TIG 225. Um, so far, pretty impressed with it. It's, it's not a, a dynasty, which is what I'm used to working with. Um, but for, Jesus, an eighth the cost, easy. Um, I got a pretty decent little machine. Uh, so we'll get set up here and we'll get these tacked into place. All right, we got it fit in there. You might notice it's not fit perfectly all the way around. Um, that's something you can kind of tweak your way in as you move your way around with the tack welds. So we'll set you up here. Uh, that's a good view. Uh, and we'll start doing some tack welds. Together, um, good enough for us to test fit it now. All right, so there it is. Um, not a bit too bad. The there is a gap at the back. Um, I don't quite have the angle of the tube matched, and so it pushed this out a little bit further. Um, that's nothing I can't can't deal with. Um, pretty pleased with the way it fits. You like I like how it closes up the the back here. Um, not that you'll be able to see this anyway, because um, the fuel tank is going to go right in this space right here behind the, the driver's seat area. You can see it's got a little bit of a bow to it. It is sitting pretty level, so uh, overall pretty pleased with the way this is coming out so far. Um, I'm going to still be cutting some holes in the top of it, but I think I'm going to wait and do all that stuff 
uh, until after I've got it fit the way I want it to fit and then I'll probably mess it up and ruin it by cutting holes in it. All right, so <clears throat> I got my first template roughed in and I, I gotta be honest, I'm not sure I like the way it's looking. Um, you know, the idea is I was to, you know, cut a, a, a pocket into here and set a little tray to throw stuff in. Um, but I kind of feel like this shape takes away the, the, what's the point of that if you're gonna have this square shape in here. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. Um, that's, this is part of the whole point of, of doing templates like this, a little cardboard. It's not perfect, but it really gives you a, a good idea how things are going to fit. This was going to bend down, line up with the front edge. Um, I think it would have looked good, but I think I'm going to go a different route. See, I didn't go with the route I had earlier. I decided I didn't really like the way that was coming out. Um, I like this. I think I'm just gonna put a little lip here on the front and it'll give me my tray all the way across. Um, I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. It fits in the Bronco the way it should.
All right. So we got that part tacked on there. The next thing I gotta work on is I got this little lift tacked on the front. I'm not gonna weld everything until it's all ready to go. Um, then I'll take the time to clean everything again once more. Uh, make sure it's already nice and clean and ready to be welded. Uh, so now I gotta work on the little the shifter mount location, a uh, couple of cup holders, uh, and then my little storage box idea. That's going to do it for this first episode of Fabrication 101. I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. I, I can only imagine that uh, YouTubing is a lot like welding and fabrication. Uh, the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. So uh, I'm going to keep working at this, uh, keep trying to improve. Uh, until then, uh, if you like this stuff, give me a like and subscribe. Thumbs up if you have any comments or questions or suggestions. Uh, feel free to leave them in the comment sections below. Um, until next time, you guys, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, and go build something.